Uh, we've got a make believe ram, which shows a bit more obviously what we're looking at when we're doing the palpation at the scrotum and testicles. We start with our fingers right up against, hard against the abdomen, and we're feeling the cords as we come down. They're, those cords are uh, mainly the tubes that carry the semen, but they're also blood supply and some connective tissue there, but that's, you're working hard at feeling as you come down that those tubes. Then when you get to the top of the testicle, there is uh, the head of ep epididymis, um, and that looks like half a squash ball in this case, but it's actually the, the head. Again, you're looking for any lumps and bumps as you work on the cords coming down and looking to make sure that you've got the same size um, on either side. They will vary from one ram to the other, but uh, the, the critical thing is feeling for difference between one side and the other, which is an indication there's an issue either an injury or a disease. Um, as you come down the testicle, you're not only looking for size, but you're also looking for tone. So the tone should be like feeling like a, uh, a nice new uh, tennis ball, not uh, hard like a cricket ball or not soft and flabby like an old tennis ball. If if they're hard, the issue is more likely to be uh, an injury or a disease and that's not going to get better. Um, you'll often find a difference in size at the same time as that hardness. Uh, if it's soft and flabby, it's an indication that the nutrition is lacking, so that semen quantity and quality is going to be down. Um, and in that case, you're looking at improving the feed uh, quality. Um, as you come down the testicle, we see I'm measuring this one with a tape. Uh, this particular type of tape has a, a button on the end which you push until it gets to the, the red mark. So if we go back to where the red mark starts, it's about 33 or a bit more, 33 and a half centimetres in size. That, so a minimum adequate size is 28 centimetres. So um, you, at two, two cans um, at 33, something like that, is going to be more than adequate. Uh, so if, if you can get that feel of having two cans when you're doing that measurement, you probably don't need a tape. Um, you can just work on the two can principle. As you come down the testicle, you come to the tail of the epididymis. Uh, it's quite a distinct lump. They both should be the, about the same size and shape. If they're not, then you've got an issue and you need some help from someone else to get some um, indication of what's going on in that case.